hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you guys how i custom made this wig using water dye if you're not subscribed be sure you subscribe like and comment thank you guys so much for getting me to 99 subscribers and let's hope that i can get to 100 next so i'm going to be using this 24 inch hair from me lead hair thank you guys for sending this to me it comes in this bag I also have a wig cap and some instructions on how to care for the hair and wash the hair to make sure it stays nice. So here's the hair. Just going to pull all the bag and everything, all the extraness they have in there. And it is pre-plugged, but I also put some more plucking towards it because I like it to look natural. So I'm going to do the half down, half up look. Therefore, I don't get any dye on the hair at the top. I feel like it's been so long since I've done a voiceover, guys. I have loved talking to you guys more than doing voiceovers. But for this particular video, I just wanted to get away from the reaction videos for a minute and just, you know, do some hair videos. <laughs> So here I have some warm water. You do not have to boil the water. You can just use hot water out of the faucet. And I use the Adore hair dye in the color medium brown. This is like the best hair dye to do water dye with. By the way, the hair is brown, not black. It just looks black, but it's like a really dark brown. So I use two bottles only. I don't use any more, any less. Just two bottles will do the job. So some people like to test out the dye by using paper towel, cloth, or anything. I just take the end of the hair and dip it. And when I saw that the hair started turning into the dark brown color, I realized it was ready. So then I'm going to dip the rest of the hair into the bowl. Now, I had it on a mannequin at first, and I just slowly started taking the pins out so I can dip the rest of the hair in and you guys are going to see me do that in just a second So for your best results, you want to let the hair sit for about 15 minutes. And here I'm just going to dump that water out. You guys, this water, this water, this wig, this so good with the hair dye. The hair didn't fry. Like one wig I had, the hair ended up frying inside the hot water. It was that bad. But this hair is amazing. It's soft. Even before I used this main choice conditioner here, literally the hair was still soft before using this. Like, I didn't even need the conditioner, to be honest. I highly recommend this hair. 
so i let the conditioner sit in for about 10 minutes and then i rinsed it out and here i'm going to blow dry the hair now i did not dye all the way to the top because i did not want to stain the wig so and majority of the time anyway the blonde hair is going to be overshadowing that black hair so it's okay to have that part not as dyed we wasn't too concerned with that so i'm just gonna be brushing the hair out while i'm blow drying to make sure it get nice soft and straight and then we're gonna get into styling i'm just gonna put little curls i wasn't going for like the big look i might use some rollers later on and you know make the hair nice and big but for now we're just gonna use a nice curling iron and put some little curls in there All right, you guys this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know i took a break from the reaction videos but let's try to get your girl up to a thousand subscribers i got the watch time and i will see you guys in my next video my next video will be the Janelle michelle eyelash try on haul so make sure you guys subscribe and like for that and i'll see you guys in my next video